Hello, babes. Now, you're probably wondering, girl, where are you? I am in my car, whatever. I really wanted to make this video, and I only like to make videos when I'm home alone, so I had to go in the car. For today, we're going to be talking about the new release of the Always Bratz collection. As y'all know, I am not a fan of any newer Bratz. I really don't like any of the reproductions. Like I've told you on the past, I like the Girls Night Out, but still to this day, nothing will beat to the original Bratz. Looking Bratz on Facebook, those are this picture of the new four dolls from the Always Bratz collection. So we're gonna be going through Yasmin, Sasha, Jade, and Chloe. Let's start with Miss Chloe. So here's a picture of Chloe. The thing that I'm kind of like, Ugh. On is definitely the faces. Why do these dolls have like literally like the biggest lips literally ever to be existed? Like girl, look at that. They're not supposed to look like that. They kind of are giving me 2015 era vibes. I mean the outfits are a lot better. These accessories that they have, this literally looks like a Barbie Mattel quality purse. Like girl, what is that? And then these accessories, these are not it. This is what is definitely giving 2015 era. I really love the eyes on this chloe though like these eyes are absolutely gorgeous but the lips is just not it this outfit also the jean jean on jean on jean it's just kind of tacky it just doesn't look good together are they supposed to be like kid theme you know how like rainbow high has like the kid version or like tweens or like whatever is that supposed to be for the brats because these are kind of like giving me like kid vibes I don't know. But Chloe, good thing about her, those eyes are gorgeous, and I do love the long, luscious hair. Everything else, I hate. I hate the cheap glasses. Everything looks like it was LOL OMG scraps. <laughs> that purse is definitely from the LOL era. I feel like they wanted to use that jean skirt before. Everything just looks tacky, in my opinion. As for the artwork, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love Chloe with the red lip. Y'all know that. It just looks really cheap to me. Like, she is not ugly, but she is not also all that, like people are trying to make her to be. Next Next up, we're going to be talking about my favorite character, and they did her dirty. Like, girl. Jade. Jade is freaking hideous, y'all. She is so damn ugly. Like, girl. In a way, y'all like her. Like, girl. She is actually really ugly. I absolutely do not like this hairline. This hairline looks off. The hair quality also looks terrible. Look at the hairline. That one could be just, like, a bad batch, but that looks so bad. Like, she's giving no forehead. I love the eyes, but I really don't like the lips. It's the hairline, the lips, and this outfit outfit is freaking hideous, girl. Like, what is this plaid jacket that she has with that green top with those fishnet shorts leggings? Like, girl, what is that? And then the accessories that she also has are just not giving brats. These are giving, like, really cheap knockoff type of thing. They are not giving at all. It's giving reduce, reuse, recycle. Like, they took the ideas from LOL OMG or, like, scraps, and they just said it's reduce, reuse, recycle or whatever. But no, I really don't like it. I don't like that freaking ugly chain necklace that she has along with that phone and those little makeup accessories like bruh we have seen enough of those enough we need some jewelry we need some hoops and those glasses are also really ugly too i'm gonna just say this now i don't like to be a negative nancy but also i'm someone who really just enjoys like the older versions of dolls the reason why i've never talked about like generation three of monster high is because i just have too much shit to say with brats y'all know how to take it monster high people really don't i get flamed i like to talk about this because everybody just likes to think like oh my god brats is releasing a new doll and like oh my god like we need it like they just like get the hype of like getting the doll and then they get the doll and then they're like oh my god this doll is like not it and then they resell it like tell me now you have not seen so many relisted listings on like ebay or mercari or whatever of like the re-release of the 2021 dolls or like felicia or like just any of those other dolls you know like tell me tell me not you have not seen at least one like people like buy them they get the hype and then when it's hyped then they sell it tell me not y'all have not got a re-release doll and you guys didn't like it because it's not the same quality as an original doll is like this one is from like what 2004 2005 and this doll is like amazing it's still gorgeous stunning like she is like so beautiful and today's quality should be a lot better but it's not everything is just not it like this just looks awful this is just giving me like just like that selfie era you know in, like 2015 that's literally this is like speaking that this the designer on this did absolutely awful sorry not sorry Sorry. These dolls are very ugly in my opinion. They just look extremely cheap. And then look at this font. Like, bruh. This is like the most ugliest font ever. <laughs> Everything just looks not it. Like, I love the eyes. The eyes are absolutely beautiful, but I just feel like with
with the reproduction dolls, they can never get anything right. I have a whole playlist of like me talking about these dolls, but um, in every single video I have said that they never look right and they don't. But I do really love the eyes and the eyebrows on this doll. Like they slayed, but the lips just look too big for the molding. Like these are like normal brat's lips, right? Like these ones are like really, really big. I don't know what they're doing with that. It's like trying to look more plumped. That's not plump and it's just giving 80 sessions of lip filler, my girl. But the next one I'm about to show y'all, the outfit on this one, I do really like. This one really very much slayed. Here is Miss Yasmin. We already know like the cheap accessories that they have, the cheap purse, cheap, all the makeup, the phone, like girl. We already know like it's not it. But this Yasmin, I love the hair. The hair is so beautiful. I love all the curls on it. You just have her in the back. The curls, the length, it's so beautiful. But those damn lips, those damn lips just don't look good. And I also don't like the eyes on this one. It just doesn't really look good. But the outfit, I do love the outfit. A lot of people don't like the top. They said it's giving like Pennywise. Someone took off the jacket and then this is like what everything looks like. Like it looks really, really good without the jacket. I mean, the jacket is not that bad, but I love the outfit. The shoes do look pretty cheap. Not enough detail, but I do love the platforms. And I do really love the artwork with this collection. The artwork always slays. But the outfit on Yasmin is so gorgeous. It's definitely my favorite. She's definitely my number one favorite from this collection. I'm never going to get her. Maybe I'll get her just for her outfit or whatever. I love like the top that she has. The purple and brown theme is just so beautiful. It's just so Yasmin. But the cheap accessories is just a... Like, girl, what? Maybe if someone, like, let's just say a passion for fashion type of style face mold, that would look amazing with this outfit and that hair too. Like, Lala repaints, like, please do that for me, girl. Like, that would be so gorgeous. No, but these dolls could have potential. Mostly Yasmin. Yasmin's like pretty much the only one that has like a lot more potential. But these dolls could have potential if they had better faces. And then finally, the worst one in my opinion is Miss Sasha. This is what Sasha looks like. Sasha is the ugliest. And y'all know Sasha is my second favorite character. And usually I do love almost all the Sasha dolls. Um, when it comes to reproductions, not really. Pretty and Punk, I'm pointing at you, girl. Pretty and Punk is way better than this freaking line. So Sasha looks the cheapest. I don't know how much these dolls are gonna go for. It probably like 20 bucks. I don't know. But this doll is not worth 20 bucks. This is giving LOL remix surprise vibes, and I'm not here for it. We are done with the LOL era. We are done. Who even collects those? No offense. We are done with that. We are done with them. I really don't like this fuchsia pink and those cheap headphones. And that face just looks so ugly. Sasha is like the worst out of this line. And I'm a Sasha girly. I love Sasha so much. Her character is so beautiful. Her fashions. But this is not giving 2001 Sasha vibes at all. Like, girl, I'm sorry. Sorry. The accessories are also super cheap. They reused that water bottle before. The makeup, we don't really care. The phone, like all of that. Like, we don't care. We want the doll to be good quality. But the hair on her, is it nylon? Does anybody have her? Is it nylon? That hair is, like, really, really pretty. I do love the articulation, period. But sometimes when there's an articulated doll, they put all the money on the articulation, and then the doll looks very ugly. And in this case, this is what's happening. But also, this line just seems very, very cheap. Just rushed on the shelves, as always, like they love to do. And everything just looks bleh. It looks like they don't even care. Like, girl, what is this? This looks awful, girl. Like, what? What? They have gone a lot better and then they went downhill again. Like, girl. If I would have to pick my top two favorites, it would be Yasmin and Chloe. Jade and Sasha, my favorite two, they both look so awful. Like, are we ever gonna get a good reproduction doll? Like, why are Monster High doll reproduction dolls a lot better than Bratz? You know, you would think, like, Mattel being cheap and all that, it would, it, it would be switched around. But Mattel has money. They're just cheap. And then now they're putting their cheapness onto Rainbow High. Like, this line is so ugly, Miss Girl like what i'm not here for it but anyways i would love to hear your guys' opinions i did make a community post and a few of you guys do like these dolls why do you guys like them what makes you guys like these they look extremely cheap everybody's entitled to have their own opinion just saying but why do y'all like them and if you don't like them please tell me why down below i would love to hear all your guys' opinions don't make my opinion make you feel like you shouldn't get them i'm just very picky i'm a very picky collector and i love to see originals and i don't think i'll ever get any more reproduction dolls the only one that I have is Dana from Girls Night Out. But anyways, babes, thank y'all so much for watching. Now see y'all in the next video. Bye!